In this tutorial, we will be discussing amino acids as acids and bases. So in an amino acid, there would be a carbonyl group and a hydroxide group. And then you'd have a nitrogen over here. However, what actually ends up happening is this hydrogen ends up going over here to the nitrogen. So that hydrogen is no longer there for the hydroxyl group. This creates a region of positive and negative. But those positive and negatives end up canceling out. And that's called the isoelectric point when those two points are neutral. The isoelectric point of an amino acid is, a P, is the pH at which the charged groups of the of an amino acid are balanced, that positive and negative are balanced, and therefore the amino acid is neutral. An amino acid can exist as a positive ion if it's more acidic and a negative ion if it's more basic. So if we look back over here again, and we're looking at the positive and the negative, we're referring to this one overcomes, there's more of this in the acidic solution and there's more of this in the basic solution. So let's take a minute to review what it means to be an acid or a base. By definition, if you're more acidic, that means you're going to have more hydrogen in the solution. If you're more basic, that means you're going to have less hydrogen. As a result, that's going to affect what's going on in, this, in the isoelectric point altogether, in that amino acid altogether. Keep this more hydrogen, less hydrogen idea in the back of your head the entire video. Also remember that pH goes down as hydrogen goes up. The pI values for nonpolar and polar neutral amino acids are ranging from 5.1 to 6.3. Aniline, for example, has a zero overall charge at its pI of 6.0. So that's when it's neutral, is that pH of 6.0. That's the isoelectric point. With a carboxylate, carboxylate ion, an amino ammonium cation balancing out. As it becomes into an acid solution, so if we add hydrogen, because remember our hydrogen is acid, so we're adding this. What ends up happening is this negative here ends up absorbing the hydrogen, giving it back that carboxylic acid. So if we look at the overall structure when that happens, notice that there's no longer a negative here, but there's this positive still remains. Because of that, it has an overall positive charge. So when it's in an acidic solution, when you're adding more hydrogens, the hydrogen gets absorbed by it, thus making it overall positive. In a basic solution, so we have OH minus here, one of these hydrogens end up get, getting donated over to it. So notice how it went from an NH3 plus to an NH2 with no charge at all. Yet nothing has happened, just like the other side, Nothing happened to that negative. So if we look at the overall, it's still going to be negative because that hydrogen went away. So in a basic solution where there's not very much hydrogen, it's going to donate the hydrogen that it has and make it overall being negative. All right, so let's take a look at this. At a pH above its pi. Now remember, low pH equals acid. High pH means it's basic. So if it's above the pi, that means it's a basic solution, which means it's going to end up giving up that hydrogen from the NH3. So that means the answer here is 2. Aniline 
but the pH below means it's acidic, which means that there's extra hydrogens floating around, which means that it can absorb it, which means the answer here is 1. Consider the amino acid leucine at the pH of, or the pi of 6. If it's a pH of 3, what happens? Well, 3 means it's acidic. It's more acidic than the pi, which means there's extra hydrogens roaming around, which means it can absorb a hydrogen right here, which means it's going to end up being positive. The pH of a 9.0 means it's basic, which means it's lacking hydrogen which means one of these hydrogens here will get donated, which will end up this being negative. And those are amino acids acting as acids and bases.